Hey boys and girls, welcome to Harvest at Home Kids. Guess what? We're on a road trip. <laughs> we got some worship tunes we're gonna sing in the car today. Hey, do we got snacks? So many snacks. So many snacks. Can we play a game while we're on the road? Yeah, maybe we can play I Spy. Oh, good idea, Court. Well, um, you know, we do have a destination and I don't need a map because I know exactly where we're headed. I've memorized it. Are you sure? Yep, I know exactly which way we're going. Hi, guys, oh, on the road. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. You know, we better start with some worship right now and so we can keep our focus on God. And I better keep my focus on the road. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Not your hearts be troubled. Believe in me. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. Oh, 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 oh. Where I go. Adventure. 
Honey, did you remember to lock the front door? Yes, dear. Okay, let's go! Are we there yet? Yeah, we've been driving in this car forever. We just pulled out of the driveway. I think I have to go to the bathroom. I'm hungry. When are we getting there? Kids, your mother spent a lot of time planning this road trip. If you keep complaining, you're going to miss all the awesome sights. Now, stop worrying about how long it will take and start enjoying the ride. Let's play our favorite song. Psst. Hey, dude. I'm still hungry, but I think Dad's right. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look over there! Look over there! Look! Look! Wow! We've been in the car for two hours already. Do you guys want to take a snack and bathroom break? Sure, but can we make it fast? I want to get back on the road. Yeah, this trip is really fun. I hope we never stop driving. Hey, Dad, can you play my favorite song again? Yeah, let's put it on repeat. This is going to be a long trip. Are we there yet? And keep watching him. Stay on track and keep watching him. <laughs> off the map, off of the map. Everywhere we go, we're going off the map. That song really gets stuck in your head, doesn't it? Well, I have a scripture I would love to share with you guys. Let me go get my Bible. Here it is. Okay, this is coming to you straight out of Psalm 18. Do you have your Bibles? Open them up, Psalm 18. It says this, I love you, Lord, you are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. Don't verses like that make you want to worship the Lord? Well, good thing we've got another worship song for you guys right now. Yeah. 
don't, don't be scared. scared. He paid the price, the, the sacrifice. sacrifice. Don't roll the dice with, with your life. He'll walk with you, talk with you, light you up and ride through life with you. He died for you, cried for you, is alive with you, was tried for you. So when you meet him on his throne, you won't be standing all alone. He's by your side, Jesus Christ, sending your sin cross oceans wide. Shine for him, die with him, make him number one desire. Cause he loves you up and down, now make disciples go around that light. Welcome to today's game called Spot That Car. Now what you're gonna need to do is find the red car in all of these pictures because in the red car is where me and the girls were driving earlier and we got lost. And why did we get lost? <sighs> because I wouldn't ask for directions. Ugh, it was my fault, but guess what? We're gonna ask Red to come here. Hey Red, come here. Hey, I'm Red. Now Red. You were lost in all these different pictures. The kids are gonna help us find you. Why don't you go and get driving? Here we go. All right, let's bring up the first picture on the screen. Here we go. Ooh, it's a winding road. This one's kind of easy. Do you see red? Well, let's reveal the answer in three, two, one. You got it. It's right there, it's plain to see. Okay, let's get the second picture up on the screen. Here we go. Ooh, snow, whoa. Well, can you find Red? He's lost again. <laughs> Let's reveal where Red is in three, two, one. You got it. Yeah, that was another easy one. All right, let's get picture number three up on the screen. Ooh, rainy, windy road. <laughs> well, can you see Red? Let's get the answer up in three, two, one. There, you got it. You're good at this game. All right, Red's gonna go into picture four. Woo. Here we go. Wow, mountainy. Red is way off the trail on this one. Let's reveal where he is, right? In three, two, one. You got it, up on the hillside. That was fun. <laughs> okay, let's get the next picture up on the screen. Picture number five. Ooh, I think Red could swim, maybe? I don't know. Okay, spot red. In three, two, one. You got it. Yep, it wasn't in the water, it was on the hillside. There you go. Okay, next picture, number six. Now, it's a windy road again. You, can you see red? Oh man, that's a hard one. Look hard. We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. You got it. He was kind of hard to see on that one, but you, you did a good job. All right, next picture, number seven. Where is red? Let's see it now. Oh, kind of off the trail if I could give it away. <laughs> Let's give you the answer in three, two, one. You got it. He was off the trail there. That one was kind of more, a little bit more difficult, right? Okay, picture number eight. Let's see it now. Hmm, this is out in the middle of the desert, it looks like. Can you spot red? All right, let's see where he is in three, two, one. Good, good job, you guys, you got it. All right, just two more pictures. Here we go, picture number nine. 
Hmm. I think he's hiding behind the trees. All right. Give your best guess. In three, two, one. You got it. He was kind of hard to see on that one, but you, you did a good job. Okay, one final picture. Here we go. Wow, this is like a valley. Red is lost for sure. Can you find him? You can't find me. All right, make your best guesses now. We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. There you go, good job. You found him in all the places that I got him lost while we were driving during today's service. Well, thanks for joining me today with our game, Spot That Car. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey kids, my name is Courtney. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Bible. It's kind of like when you get maybe a birthday present or a package in the mail, except it's way better because we're unboxing the Word of God. Today's word is S C R I P T U R E S. Scriptures. The word scriptures comes out of John chapter 20, verse 9. Our verse says, For until then they still hadn't understood the scriptures that Jesus must rise from the dead. Isn't that cool to know that when we read the Bible, we can know that all scripture points to who Jesus is and what he's done for us and what he will do for us. Can you guys say that verse again with me? For until then, they still hadn't understood the scriptures that Jesus must rise from the dead. Great job, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, well, next up, we have a lesson from Jackie. So open up your ears, your hearts, and your Bibles and get ready to pay attention. Hey, guys. Okay, do you like riddles? I have a riddle for you. Okay, Kate's mother has three children. Their names are Snap, Crackle, and fill in the blank. What is the third child's name? What do you guys think? Take a guess at home. Tell your, your siblings and your mom. Okay, well the answer is not Pop like you might think. It's Kate. The riddle says Kate's mom has three kids. So we already know that Kate's one of the kids and then it's Snap and Crackle. Get it? That's funny. Okay, I have another one for you. What has hands and a face but can't smile or hold anything? Think about it. Did you get it? A clock. Yeah, a clock has the, the hands and the arms that go around, but it can't hold anything. And it has a face, because we call the front of a clock the face of the clock. <laughs> That's funny. OK, I have one more for you. What belongs to you, but your friends use it more than you do? Hmm. That's a thinker. Did you guess it? Your name. You rarely say your name, but your friends always say your name. Isn't that funny? I'm sharing these riddles with you because they kind of remind me of today's lesson. We are studying the road to Emmaus. This is a story that happened after Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, like immediately after. And Emmaus, if you don't know, is a city outside of Jerusalem, about like seven miles or so. And two disciples were walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Now, this was after the crucifixion and after the resurrection, but these two disciples didn't know yet that Jesus had resurrected. So they were walking and they were talking together about all these things that had just happened over the weekend. And they were sad and they were hurt and they were maybe even angry and arguing with each other about all these events that happened because it was you know, confusing and traumatic and heartbreaking for these disciples. And they're, when they're walking and talking, this man comes alongside of them. And 
this man was Jesus, okay? We know that as the reader reading the scriptures, but they didn't know it at that time. And so the man started asking them, what are you guys arguing about? Why are you so sad? And they were like, um, well, you must be the only person in all of Jerusalem that hasn't heard of what has happened here. They, and then they told him everything that had happened. And the man, Jesus, said to them, well, wasn't all of this in the scriptures? Wasn't all of this supposed to happen? And I think it dawned on the disciples, like, wow, maybe this guy is right. Because they wanted him to keep walking with them. And they asked him to come to dinner at their house with them. So Jesus did. He said yes. And at this point, they still don't know it's Jesus. But he went to dinner with them. He walked the rest of the way and went to dinner. And it says that they sat down at the table and Jesus broke bread and passed it around. And as soon as he did that, they recognized that it was Jesus. They all recognized it was Jesus, and then he disappeared. Whoa, what a story. Now, after he disappeared, he went and appeared to other disciples. He didn't just go away. Um, we'll find more about that in the next coming weeks. So the reason why the riddles I was telling earlier kind of remind me of the story is because the disciples were having a really hard time processing all of this. You know, a riddle sometimes makes you sit there and really think about all the information you've been given. Jesus gave the disciples all the information. He told them everything that was going to happen to him, but it was hard for them to understand. And sometimes a riddle is really hard for us to understand. But when we sit and we think about it, it starts to make sense, right? Well, that Jesus was appearing to these two disciples on the road to Emmaus who were arguing because they didn't quite understand everything that just happened. And basically what Jesus was telling them is if you look to the scriptures and you had faith in the scriptures, you would have known all of this was going to happen. So what does that tell to us? Well, it tells to us when we read those things that, hey, everything that Jesus said is true. Yes everything Jesus said is true and will come to pass. So all scripture points to Jesus from the Old Testament to the New Testament. There's things all throughout it. In the Old Testament, there was a lot of prophecies about the Messiah. Do you guys know what a prophecy is? It's when a prophet received a message from God about something that would happen in the future. Yes, so in the Old Testament, there's a lot of information about who Jesus would be and what would happen to Jesus and how he would be the Messiah. In the Old Testament, it was foretold about before. So had the disciples understood those scriptures and had more faith in them, maybe they would have understood all of these things that were coming to pass. But you know, we're all just human. And sometimes it's hard for us to understand things. And when it's hard for us, look how much grace Jesus had for them in this story. Just because they understood, did that mean he didn't come back and see them? No, he visited them. He made things clear to them. He showed them, hey, put your faith in me because what I say is true. And we can get that from the scriptures when we read it. We know that the things Jesus said is true. So don't forget that all scripture shows us who Jesus is and points to the Lord. You know, if you guys are struggling understanding the Bible or scriptures at all, you know what's the best thing that you can do? Pray. Pray and ask God for understanding and for clarity and for wisdom. Because the Bible tells us he'll give wisdom to those who ask. Have, ask God to help you understand and he will. All right, guys, well, thanks for joining me on my lesson here. I hope you like my cute little car. I bet you the disciples wish they had a car to get from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Have you ever walked seven miles? It's kind of far. And I don't know if the roads were clear. But anyway, thank you for joining me. We better get back to our road trip. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> it's snacky time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackie. And I'm Courtney. And welcome to Snacky Time. Okay, this is not a secret. We like snacks. I think you all know that by now. Yeah, in fact, while we were preparing for this segment, we were eating our snack because it was so good. But we saved some so we could show you guys something really cool that Courtney came up with. 
Okay, so we're combining crafts and snacks today with this fun snack, and it's the Ooh. perfect like snack shaker for when you're in the car, maybe on a road trip, or even maybe just to like your grandma's house or something. Perfect. Well, let's see, how do you do it? Okay, so for our snack shaker, what we're gonna need is a mason jar, or some type of jar that has um, like these metal lids that can go on it. I bet you your moms all have mason jars at home. I bet that you're right. <laughs> and normally they have like another piece in the center right here, but I took that out. So you just need the ring part. Okay. And then you're gonna need some sort of juice or milk carton, um, anything that has a twisty lid on it. And as you can see, I already cut out, I like unfolded it, and then I cut out a big square from right here that our twisty lid was in, and then Oh, that's so genius. Yeah, and then you cut out a circle the same size as your lid, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that circle part and we're gonna stick it in to our lid. That is so cool, you guys. So fun, and now we can screw it onto the top of our container, and then you've got this nice little snack shaker. <gasps> yeah, because today we're talking all about being on a road trip and yes. like, you guys all want to eat snacks on a road trip, right? But your mom's like, don't get crumbs in the seat. You're gonna crush it in your car seat. And that might be true. But this will help you not spill a whole bag of chips all over yourself or popcorn everywhere. You'll just get nice little portions at a time. Yeah, it's perfect. So should we fill our cup? Let's fill it up. Okay, so what we have on our plate is some delicious things. We have a chocolate Chex cereal. Yum. Mini chocolate chips. Way better than regular chocolate chips. Oh, totally. Air popped popcorn. Yum. And pretzels. So yummy. And it's like a healthy snack too. All of that is, is pretty good. Yeah, and we, we don't have to use that many chocolate chips. You know, we'll keep it, we'll keep it healthy. We don't have to, but we can. That's true too. Um, also, you guys, if you don't like any of those things we just mentioned, put your own take on it. You could put goldfish in there. That would be fun. Ooh, that'd be really yummy. Maybe a few gummy bears sprinkled in. That Cheerios. Like a good snack mix. Yeah, anything. Basically, if it will fit in the little hole here, you can use that snack, right? Yeah. All right, so let's fill our cup up. Yay. We have cleaned our hands, you guys. We sanitized our hands, and now we're going to use them to fill up our cup. Yay. So, don't mind us. Let's do a little bit of popcorn. A little bit of chip sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles. Mm -hmm. I mean chocolate, I'm sprinkling the mm -hmm. chocolate chips. And maybe some pretzels. Oh yeah, and some maybe more popcorn. Yeah. Look you guys, this is so fun. Yeah, you get to make layers. Yeah, this is your own custom snack cup that won't make a mess. Yes. I think moms are gonna like this. I think so too. And kids. This and kids. Kid approved snack. Let me make sure this popcorn's still good. Make sure it tastes good. Okay. Yay. Yay. Um, I think you forgot these chocolate chips. Oh, we need some more for sure. Okay. Now we're gonna screw our lid on. And shake it up. Now we can take off our twisty top and sprinkle some stuff into our hands. <gasps> Look what she got! This is like a prize machine where you're like not sure what's gonna come out. It's so fun. Jack, you want some? This is so fun, I love it. Okay, so you have to shake it a little bit. But look how cute. It's so fun. I'm gonna try it. You guys, I love this snack cup. This is a fun one. Okay, you guys, mm. we hope that you have fun making one as well that mm -hmm. you can use in the car on your road trip. Yeah, even for school. Yeah. That would be a good school snack. And hey, it will keep your food fresh because like it's in this cool jar. Mm -hmm. No stale snacks. No stale snacks. Well, thank you guys for joining us for a snacky time and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>Well, kids, thanks for joining us on our road trip today. I'm so glad that I finally listened to the girls and followed the navigation. You know, at first I didn't want to. I didn't really understand why they wanted me to use navigation. But after getting lost all those times, all those places, I found it was the better thing to do. 
That's right, we were right. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of the lesson from today. The disciples that were on the road to Emmaus and really all the disciples that had trouble understanding everything that was going on with the resurrection, even though Jesus told them exactly what was going to happen, they just, they didn't really get it. So that's why we need the scripture, you guys, to help us on the road to Jesus, get it? Well, we had so much fun with you guys today and we hope that you enjoyed coming along on our road trip with us. So remember that when we stay in the scriptures and we keep our eyes pointed on Jesus, he will always direct our paths. We love you guys and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, wait, can I turn the radio on? Sure. Off the map, off, off the map, off the map, off, off the map. We're going off the map, off the map. Everywhere we go, we're going off the map. We're going off the map, off, off the map, off the map.